Hey everybody, let me make a quick video for you. So we bought this tractor in the spring. It's an LX410, had around 500 miles on it. Um, I just got done bringing some poles home. Um, I have an old Ford over there. That's much bigger than the CNMR, but one of the things that's gone bad on it is the um, joystick and it stops going up and down. And I read online about 500 hours or so you have to replace the joystick assembly, which is the joystick right there. Um, you can't see how it mounts, but it comes down here with these two cables and connects. So they want you to buy, dealer wants to sell you all that as one piece. I looked online, I found all kinds of other stuff for, you know, other brands of tractors and they sell individual pieces, but they don't here. So first time I did this, I got in the fender well and I took this whole thing out and so I could see how it worked. But what I've done is this little piece of plastic here is now broken. So it actually works to my advantage because this is the little triangle piece that lifts these little pins here up and down. And these have a little ball on the top of them. They're made onto the cable. They have a nylon crimped ball on the end of the steel ball. So what happens is a piece of nylon falls off and uh, you're out of luck because instead of actually the lever pulling the cable like it does, it doesn't. So what I did, this is my second attempt, but obviously I have a band clamp to hold that in because I don't want it to fall out, but I'm an HVAC guy. So um, this is half inch soft copper. Now ACR copper is OD, so it's half inch OD. So I took a pair of snips and I cut a little slit in it and what I just did up at the house when my bucket stopped moving is move the band clamp take this tap it in there with a hammer I mushed it over because it was too long but the clamp holds it in tight so now my joystick is still working so so far I haven't gave the dealer 550 plus shipping I believe um, and as the little nylon pieces fall off the balls I will do this on each one unless it doesn't last at all but wanted you to check this out. Um, this guy on YouTube in Australia that they have brass um, machine pieces that they're selling for this, but it was something I think local they were getting from the dealer. And uh, I searched, there's nothing here in the US. So your choice is you buy the whole assembly with the cables or you start making your own repairs. And this is what I'm doing and we'll see how long this one lasts.